Previously on my so-called life. Tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. A stretch in the castle dower dungeon will straighten you right out. I swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Now you're one of us. I'm Destana. What's your name? The name's Circuit. Fuck this! I'm not gonna be a bystander to this bullshit! What are you doing, soldier? Getting rid of scum that tortures for fun. Whoa, guys, what is this? Prefect Circuit. You're under arrest for assaulting an Imperial officer and noble. What? They're taking him to the Imperial City? This is... outrageous! He assaulted a high-ranking officer. I've half a mind to give up my commission, right here and now. Seems some of the troops are angry about Circuit. Between Circuit and Hadvar, they claim nearly all the victories we've had in recent months. The Civil War is a sideshow to Cyrodiil. We're going to lose, and then Cyrodiil will be exposed on both flanks. Well then, we'd best work harder and get rid of these rebels. And when I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. Recently, a prisoner escaped from the Imperial City prison. Your mission is to find and apprehend him, alive, if possible. It is thought that since his personal effects were kept by the guard at Bruma, he will be heading in that direction. Tell you what, I have an idea. Would a trophy suffice? Yeah. It'll get the bounty hunters off my trail, and maybe you'll get a promotion. Here. What are you doing? Take my armor and hammer. Something I wouldn't part with unless you ended my life. An enemy approaches. What the hell is a traitor to Skyrim doing here? Wait. I come in peace. What do you want? But I've got a man on the inside who'll open the main gate. Yeah, I know about it. Why are you telling us this? I had a change of heart. Clearly, the people of Skyrim don't want to be ruled. If only one man's downfall can turn so many against the Empire. Circuit, he was arrested for helping you. What? He escaped, but a pair of bounty hunters killed him on the road. Returned with his armor and hammer. Sid knew Circuit did nothing wrong. They fucking what? This is it, men. It's time to make this city ours. We come to this moment carried by the sacrifices and courage of our fellows. Those who have fallen. Those still bearing the shields to our right. On this day, our enemy will know the fullness of our determination, the true depth of our anger, and the exalted righteousness of our cause. The gods are watching. The spirits of our ancestors are stirring, and men, under suns yet to dawn, will be transformed by what we do here, today. Fear neither pain nor darkness, for Sovereign God awaits those who die with weapons in their hands and courage in their hearts. We now fight our way to Castle Dawa, to cut the head off the Legion itself, and in that moment, the gods will look down and see Skyrim as she was meant to be full of lords who are mighty, powerful, and free. They'll have set barricades to slow us down, destroy them quickly, and take out the archers in the tower along the way. All that remains then is the exterior gate. Find a way through to open it, and the city will be ours. Ready now, everyone, with me, for the sons and daughters of Skyrim. Ah! As you might be able to tell, I'm pissed. Awaken ye deathless souls, drink to me your steel, for all those who have fallen.
Ulfric, stop. Stop what? Taking Skyrim back from those who'd leave her to rot. You're wrong, Ulfric. We need the Empire. Without it, Skyrim will assuredly fall to the Dominion. You were there with us. You saw it. The day the Empire signed that damn treaty was the day the Empire died. The Empire is weak, obsolete. Look at how far we've come with so little. When we're done rooting out the Imperial influence here at home, then we will take our war to the Old Mary Dominion. You're a damn fool. Stand aside, woman. We've come for the general. He has given up. But I have not. Rekka, go. You're free to leave. I'm also free to stay and fight for what I believe in. You're also free to die for it. This is what you wanted? Shield brothers and sisters killing each other? Families torn apart? This is the Skyrim you Stop want? Aside. That's not the Skyrim I want to live in. Rika, you don't have to do this. You've left me no choice. Talos, preserve us. Everybody stop. We've won. Rayloff, take Rick a prisoner. All right. Sure. Why? She wanted to throw her life away for her cause. Somebody I know, knew, cared for her, and Hadvar asked for it in trade. Granted, Stormblade. I almost can't believe it. The Empire has been defeated. The world bears witness to the power and righteousness of the sons and daughters of Skyrim. That's it's the end done. of that. Well, I suppose some kind of speech is in order. I'll go gather the men in the courtyard. And Elisif? Don't you worry about her. I sent my best men to round her up. Stormblade, the men will expect a speech. Will you stand by my side? I wish to honor you. Dragonborn, and the truest of Stormcloaks. Of course, Ulfric. Wouldn't miss it. Very good. Come, the people await us. Indeed, Ulfric Stormcloak, and at my side the woman we know as Stormblade, and the world knows as the Dragonborn. And indeed, there are many that call us heroes, Imperial milk. but it is all of you who are the true heroes. It was you who fought a dying empire. It was you who fought the Thalmor and their puppets who would have us deny our gods and our heritage. It was you who fought your kin who didn't understand our cause who weren't There's willing to pay the price for, for our freedom. But more than that, it was you who fought for Skyrim, for our right to fight our own battles, to return to our glory and traditions, to determine our own future. Yeah! And it is for these reasons that I cannot accept the mantle of High King. Not until the moot declares that title should adorn my shoulders, will I accept it. And what about Jarl Elisif? Yes, what about the Lady Elisif? Will she put aside her personal hatred for me, and her misplaced love for the Emperor and his coin, so that the suffering of our people will end? Will she acknowledge that it is we Nords who will determine Skyrim's future? Will she swear fealty to me, so all may know that we are at peace and a new day has dawned? I do! Then it is settled. The Jarl will continue to rule Solitude. I will garrison armies here to ward off Imperial attempts to reclaim the city. And in due time, the Moot will meet and settle the claim to High King once and for all. There is much to do, and I need every able-bodied man and woman committed to rebuilding Skyrim. A great darkness is growing, and soon we will be called to fight it on these shores or abroad. 
The old Mary Dominion may have defeated the Empire, but it has not defeated Skyrim! Yeah! How'd I do? Great. Thank you. We'll wait for the moot to name me High King. It'll be better for all that way. But that doesn't mean I won't start acting like it. There's much to do. The new Jarls need help building armies and enforcing their right to rule. The Empire may try to reclaim Skyrim, and I need everyone ready for that. Though the biggest threat, of course, is the Elves. There will be peace for a time, during which we must rebuild Skyrim into the land it once was. Strong, self-reliant, the center of mankind. Because getting rid of the Empire was only half the problem. Soon the Elves will again seek to rule the world. We must ready ourselves to fight them. For it will be Skyrim that shall lead Tamriel in those dark days, when the fate of the world is finally determined. Damn, Dad sure was a great order. Yeah, definitely better than me. Not afraid of the remnants of the Legion. In time, they'll all give up and go home. What I fear is that the Thalmor will see our victory here and turn greater attention to our shores. We must be prepared to face them. Aye. And of course, we couldn't have done it without you. May the gods preserve you. May the gods preserve us all. Come, Galmar. We've still much work to do. <sighs> hey, boys, let's party! Wow, look at all the colors. Excellent work, guys. Couldn't have swept through there without you clearing behind me. It left me open to scale the walls and open the gates <clears> for the <throat> army. Special thanks to Katana. Our mutual friend will be missed. I've already drank a few in his honor. Why don't you guys go enjoy yourselves? Stay sharp out there. I'll head back home if you need me. Well, okay. But you better come and see me again. Hadvar, I'm surprised you're here. I'd lay low for a while if I were you. Good idea. But you seemed pretty torn up, so I thought you'd like to know. Look who showed up. Sir Ket, you're alive. Good to see you. Ow! I faked my death so the Imperials would get off my back. Too late for the battle, though I guess. Though I'd just as soon stay out of it. Well, Skyrim's free of Imperial control now. This is definitely the place to be for outlaws. Outlaw? Yeah, I should be used to it by now. But I got a couple ideas on what to do next. You know beyond just being a mercenary. This is Dartakto, by the way. He's from Bruma. Hi, Dartakto. I'm glad you came back. I'm sure you have a few stories to tell. Definitely. Oh, hey, I have a surprise for you. You survived? As much as I tried not to, this one insisted on taking me captive. I knew she was your friend, buddy. You're free to go under Circuit's custody. What? Really? So long as you don't plan on restarting the Legion in Skyrim. And keep out of sight for now. Also might want to take off that armor. Come find me when you can. Sounds great. Weird armor, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hadvar, come with me. So, question. You guys still have beef, right? Why is that traitor still here? I was only fighting for what I believed in. He's not a Legionnaire anymore. He laid out their defense plan. You should forgive him. Again, why did you bring him here? Well, I thought I'd lock us in a room and not let you all out until you shake hands or whatever. I don't think either of you, or both of you, could take me. Hey Q, well, I mean there was that one time, and you weren't even drunk then. Wow, you, and her, I'm impressed. Of course, wouldn't you? Would. Did. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant, but like, I am pretty drunk. I thought I saw... no, surely. Coast is clear, you can come out. So what now? Am I to be your captive? You act as if I planned this. All I want is to get you out of solitude safely. After that, you can do what you want. That's it then? Let me ask you this. Given freedom, what will you do? I suppose I could go to Cyrodiil, though this is my home. <laughs> what? You do remember they tried to put me to death, right? And before that... Do you remember the poor soul at Helgen who nearly got executed by coincidence? I'm ashamed it took me so long to realize how rotten the Empire is. 
You think the Stormcloaks are better? Not really, no. Bunch of pig-headed racist gits. But they did win. And in Cyrodiil, you'd most likely be put on trial for desertion. I actually think the Legate you replaced got that treatment. Sometimes honor demands... Honor doesn't give a shit about you. The world doesn't give a shit about you. Or me. Sometimes you have to take what you can. I suppose... <sighs> You're actually right. So let me ask you, what will you do? Well, the war probably created a lot of orphans, right? And the orphanage in Riften doesn't have nearly the room needed. Maybe I can help the next generation not be as fucked as this one is. Circuit. You're a good man. Think you need help? Thought you'd never ask. Well, that was fun. Truce? All right. I guess. Well, I guess now you guys have the bond of two guys who rubbed their tools together with only a thin layer of skin between you. Is she always this vulgar? Man, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the rain's starting to put out the fires. You coming? Yeah, just thinking. What about? The future. Come here. Hey guys, recording this after a night shift and I'm starting to get sick, so I'm currently suffering from my art. Wanted to say thanks for watching. This was a fun one. I got to flex my editing and creative skills a little bit. Only really one quest objective with lots of story happening. There will be one or more bit episodes and more in this time frame. Thank you all for watching. Oh, and here's a funny little Easter egg for you. What the heck? Since when does she have a gun?